Hi, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Pickleball and Politics. As you know, we've been taking a little hiatus from the pickleball uh, until the election is over, but I wanted to inform those of you who also play pickleball that for the first time ever, I played this week, I played seven games, and every single one of my serves were good, and they were in, which was amazing. I can't even tell you. I won five of the seven games, and I didn't care about the wins, the losses. I just love that each one of my serves were in. All right. Have you recovered yet from the Democratic National Convention? Whew. That was rough, wasn't it? Man, oh, man. The convention was like the typical Democrat. They overpromise and underperform. We had the coronation of the queen. Um who didn't receive one vote in the primary process. Not one. She wasn't on the ballot. She wasn't. Not for president. Uh, So we had the coronation. And then on that last day, Thursday, all day long, the rumors, the rumors, all day long, Beyonce's going to perform tonight. T. Swift is going to be there tonight. George W. Bush is going to be there tonight. So all day long, Beyonce's fans were like, well, I've got to tune in tonight. I've got to see Beyonce at the, at the convention. And then, you know, the millions and millions of Swifties, they weren't going to miss it if she was showing up. And heck, I put it on to see if it was true that George W. Bush was actually going to walk out on the stage at a Democratic convention. Ugh, ugh. I mean, someday I'm going to talk about my um, thoughts and my my complete reversal of admiration for George W. Bush. Gosh, I used to love that guy. Uh, now, Ooh. anyways, um, so we had these rumors all day long, and that was only to increase viewership. That's all. To manipulate people. People who tuned in to see Beyonce, to see T-Swift, to see George W. Bush like I did, we were all manipulated. They were never coming, ever. Typical Democrats promise you everything and then nothing comes of it. It was just so typical. Biden and Harris, for the last three and a half years now, have caused so many self made crises, especially the one at the border. You could have left everything alone that that Donald Trump had done. We wouldn't have any of these immigration issues right now. Mass immigration issues. Millions and millions of people, undocumented, unvetted, have just come right over the border. They're all on public assistance. They're all being taken care of by us all self-made by Biden and Harris. The last thing this country needs is four more years of that sort of failed policies. Now, we also have to, before we get off the Democratic National Convention, we have to talk about just the irony of Michelle Obama coming out and talking about income inequality, income inequality, coming from Michelle, who has three mansions worth $25 million. And then the the irony of her talking about how her mom and dad just hated people, thought it was just horrible when they had too much coming from Michelle. It was great. And then we followed it up with the one and only a billionaires worth $3 billion, Oprah Winfrey, who was also talking about income inequality. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but Michelle Obama and Oprah Winfrey talking about income inequality. Well, to me, that's just weird. It's just weird. All right. If uh, you also are still recovering from the Democratic National Convention, leave me a message right here. You can reach me at Instagram 
and on Getter at Pickleball and Politics. You cannot reach me for a while on X because I have been suspended for a week. Yes, I have. I don't think I said anything bad, but I did get bounced for a week. I'm suspended. I am appealing it, but you cannot reach me on X this week. I'm and uh, finally, you can leave me a message right here on my YouTube channel. Okay. Until next time, I'll see you again soon. Next time, we're talking about Robert Kennedy. All right. I'll see you soon on Pickleball and Politics.